heaven, hell, evil, good, resurrection, rapture, reincarnation, dead bones shall rise, lily of the valley, faith, death, living, alive, consciousness, unconsciousness. These are words that we hear and we use when with faith-based conversations that we have. And then you wonder, um, these words that we throw about and judge other people by, how much of these words have we experienced and how much of these words do we know ourselves? And how much of these words have we been instructed and told to believe without questioning? Blind faith, that's what they call it. And um, we live our lives based on what other people think life should be. So that's what this exhibition is about. Telling the story, using clothing, The whole idea of telling stories with cloth came from a visit some years ago. A friend of mine was getting married and they told us that if we go to Abelkuta, there's a shop there and there's this woman who sells lace, ashoke, you name it, she has it. So we go there and the woman is introducing us to the fabrics she's selling. She's saying, oh, you know, here's cotton from Egypt and prints from China, uh, lace from Austria, wax from England, batik from Denmark. So she takes me to another shop. The only thing in the shop is adireleko, um, indigo, only. And she says, yeah, this is you. <laughs> and she knew me too well. And since then, I'd had this love affair with adireleko. Imagine if clothing could speak. Imagine what it would say. But the truth is that I believe clothing speak. I believe inanimate objects speak. We transfer our energies to these things and we conduct ourselves with these things. Now imagine the shirt that you're wearing. Imagine I could testify for you or against you. And imagine that um, if a man was being interrogated, you know, did you kill this man? And he says, no, I didn't. The shirt will say, yes, he did. If humans were quiet enough and they listened deeply, they would hear inanimate objects speak. And that's what I'm doing with the show. Rapture is an experience where I take all the human elements out, but I leave their aura behind. I leave their shapes and their forms. It's as though the fabric takes on the memories of the wearer. And then they speak to the audience about who this person possibly was. The 10-year-old girl is like a metaphor for a tree. So you have this plant that is not standing erect and her foliage is just beginning to appear. She hasn't flowered, let alone fruit, fruit, produced fruits. But um, there's an axe in front of the door ready to chop it down. Even the local people know better than to cut a young tree for firewood, you don't cut a tree that isn't mature enough to give you fire. But the constitution now wants to permit grown men to do that to young girls, cut them down and basically burn them. That's what it is. The white cloth there is for innocence and naivety. The axe is the law. 
People are attracted to lights and colors and forms. I use color and forms to attract the audience and then hoping that, you know, I'm able to engage them a little longer, that they might reflect a little deeper and some content is um, transferred into their consciousness.